Welcome! In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create stacks with the Android version of Helicon Remote. To start, I'll connect my camera to my Samsung Galaxy 2 with an on-the-go cable adapter, checking that my lens is set to autofocus mode. Note, we recommend you set your camera to manual exposure mode, as this will allow you to change the exposure parameters with Helicon Remote. Now I'll run Helicon Remote and turn the camera on. As soon as Helicon Remote takes control of the camera, the live view image will show on the screen of my phone. The Exposure tab lets me see the following exposure parameters, Exposure Time, Aperture, and ISO, as well as Exposure Shift and Image Format. Below that, you can also set the white balance and the flash parameters. The Take Picture button tells the camera to take one shot. The Live View button turns the Live View off and on. The Preview button takes a preview shot to check the exposure parameters and to check the focus with full resolution. I use the Focus tab to set the nearest and farthest focusing points. To focus on the nearest edge, I use the Autofocus function. Here I'm zooming in to see if the lens is focused correctly. The focus is not quite right. It's a little bit away from the edge. I'll use the small step keys to move the focus all the way to the edge. When this is correct, I can save A, the nearest focusing point. Next, I'll move the focus towards infinity using Helicon Remote's arrow keys. To do so, I won't use the autofocus function, as the program will lose track of the focus position. To check the focusing, I'll zoom in. I'm making a few small steps back and forth to find the right position. Now I can save the farthest focusing point, B. The program automatically calculates the number of shots to be taken as well as the interval between them. This calculation is based on the current aperture, the focal length of the lens, and the correction factor. The correction factor allows you to fine-tune the program for your specific lens. Now that all the necessary parameters are set, I can start shooting the stack. The images will be saved on the phone when the stack is ready. The default setting is for them to be saved in the Pictures folder, as is standard for the Android OS. But you can choose another folder in the Program Settings if you prefer. To find them in that folder, you'll need to use a free Android file manager, such as File Expert or ES File Explorer. To copy the images, you can connect the phone to your computer and use it as an external drive. I can always interrupt the process by pressing the Stop Shooting button. On the Live View tab are several tools that can help with focusing and setting the correct exposure. DOF Preview only works for Canon and only if the exposure simulation is turned off in the camera settings. Highlight Focused Areas shows which areas are in focus at the moment. Highlight Overexposed Areas shows the overexposed areas of the preview shots in red, as well as on the Live View image if the exposure simulation is on. Helicon Remote also allows advanced exposure bracketing. You can set up to 15 exposure steps, which is more than most cameras allow. In manual mode, you can change the exposure time, ISO, and aperture for each step if necessary. With Helicon Remote, you can also do time-lapse photography. Set the interval between the shots, the number of them, and the delay before the first one. Now you can leave the camera alone and it will take a series of images. When a subject changes over time, it can be interesting to combine the images into a movie. You can download a free Pelican Remote for Android from the Google Play Store and try it out. Happy remote shooting with your Android phone or tablet!